So here we are on Little Round Top at the Gettysburg National Military Park. And we're standing at a rock that has an inscription carved into it. Early on in the history of the battlefield, there were inscriptions placed, uh, painted or chiseled into the rocks around the field, sort of as a monuments to the soldiers that fought here. And there's a number of them on the second day's battlefield that you can look at. This particular inscription says, Colonel Strong Vincent fell here, commanding the 3rd Brigade, 1st Division, 5th Corps, July 2nd, 1863. And as time goes by, it is um, harder and harder to see. And over the years, you know, uh, people have tried to say the colonel actually says general and had to make, they tried to make it look like general. Uh, you might know that Colonel Strong Vincent was mortally wounded as a colonel. And then uh, just before he died, he was promoted to, to a general. So Colonel Strong Vincent commanded the brigade of troops that fought here on July 2nd and was wounded during the fighting. He was taken down to the back side of a uh, little round top and to the farm of Lewis Bushman. He was shot in the lower abdomen. The wound was very painful and it was mortal. But Carolyn Bushman, Lewis's wife, did her best to save his life. But he died in that house around July 7th, 1863. And as I said, on his deathbed, they promoted him to general. Uh, Carolyn Bushman was pregnant at the time. Colonel Strong Vincent's wife back in Erie, Pennsylvania, was pregnant at the time with their first child. And Carolyn was really, really upset when uh, Colonel Strong Vincent died in her house. And when she gave birth to a child that September, she named him Strong Vincent Bushman. And for many years, Strong Vincent, Strong Vincent Bushman lived on the backside of a little round top in a little house over here. And he would often visit the rock of his namesake. He told this story many times, and it, it appears in our local newspaper that he was named after Strong Vincent. Um, it's, I went to Erie, Pennsylvania years ago, and I visited Strong Vincent's grave there. And one thing that I was not expecting is when I visited his grave, his infant daughter uh, that was born after he died, died as an infant and is buried next to him, if you get a chance to see it. Now, one last thing, this rock carving was placed here early on after the battle. It is definitely here by 1865. And there's some suggestion that it was placed here in 1864. So one of the earliest memorials of its kind anywhere at the Gettysburg National Military Park.